Hi there, Maurice Termel here. Today's video article is on grief and loss recovery. I call this article the true grief and loss recovery stages. Our website is nolosthope.com. The stages of grief recovery are often confused with Elizabeth Kubler-Ross's stages of death and dying. Her schema evolved as a result of her therapeutic work with terminally ill individuals. She summed up her conclusions as follows. Terminally diagnosed individuals would go through five stages. 1. Denial. 2. Anger. 3. Bargaining. 4. Depression. And 5. Acceptance. This group of stages has nothing to do with the grief recovery process, even though they are often quoted as such. In reviewing the available material, from various mental health associations and my own 25 years experience helping individuals, couples, and families deal with grief and loss, I can offer the following stages of grief recovery, which coincide well with our current understanding of the grieving and bereavement process. In this article, I aim to clear up a very important area of confusion. The four stages of grief recovery. Stage one, shock and numbness. This is what we experience immediately after the news of the death of a loved one. Disorientation enters our consciousness and we find we cannot think our way through what used to be very simple challenges. This is a common experience for most individuals facing a sudden loss. Some have described this period as a period of sleepwalking as they go through the funeral and necessary details which follow a death. Stage 2 disintegration and disorganization. Eventually the shock uh, of the loss wears off and our grief feelings start to come to the fore. You may feel like you're falling apart or adrift in a sea of feelings that are quite new to you. A good grief resource, grief counselor, or support group can help you navigate this part of the experience more readily. You may have some physical symptoms such as sleeplessness that you can take up with your family doctor. Feelings of anger, depression, anxiety, and confusion are also common. Breaking into tears for no apparent reason is normal, given the circumstances. Stage 3 of Grief Recovery Stage 3, Bereavement and Grief Recovery Once you are past the shock and have started to come out of disorganization, bereavement and grief recovery can begin in earnest. You can now make full use of your grief recovery resources, including books, audiobooks, healing music, and grief counseling. These days you can be part of an online support group where sharing is the byword and all persons there are eager and ready to listen and help each other recover. You are not alone unless you choose to be, and you are not a victim unless you choose that as well. Stage 4 reintegration and coming back together. The right kind of help coupled with recommended action steps will benefit your grief recovery enormously. Your approach to dealing with the emotional side of grief has begun to pay off. You are less and less inclined to break down. You can trust yourself to get on with your life and your daily routine. You realize your life has changed. That important person is gone, but not your love for them that lives forever in your heart. These are the stages of grief recovery as I have come to know them after 25 years of helping hundreds of individuals, couples and families come to terms with murder grief, suicide grief, relationship grief, loss of a parent, loss of a child, and loss of a spouse. I have also dealt with many losses in my own life including a best friend, my mother, my favorite brother-in-law, a special on-call, and other family members and acquaintances along the way. For a successful grief recovery, I, re I recommend the following. 1. Acquire a good reading and or audiobook resource that you can access whenever you want and need to. Something that will provide you with support and guidance as you work your way through the necessary grief recovery action steps. 2. Check out any support groups in your area. This will help eliminate the feeling that you are alone and will normalize your recovery experience. 3. If a local group is not an option, consider joining an online grief support network 
where you can post your story, receive support from others in grief recovery, and provide support in return. This provides a sense of community during the grief recovery period and re-emphasizes that you are not alone. Four, and finally, see a therapist if your grief reactions are so overwhelming you feel you cannot function. Follow these steps to grief recovery and your bereavement will be over before you know it. At our website, nolosthope.com, my book on grief and bereavement recovery is available there free for you to read. You can also purchase it and there are links there or you can just read it online and if you like what you've read and it find it helpful and you'd like to make a contribution to our work, you can make a donation. There are donation buttons everywhere. In the meantime, I wish you well on your journey to recovery. I'm Maurice Tremel, and the website is nolosthope.com.